we are finished with um, getting the volume of a solid using circular disc method now we're going to use cylindrical shell method that is shell means that is the covering that is getting the outer diameter or the radius that is rotated in the rectangular coordinate system so let us recall the circumference formula for this that is equal to 2 pi r or that is pi d since cylindrical shell that is the base is a circle so the circumference of a circle that is 2 pi r that is the radius or that is pi d that is the diameter so formula for cylindrical shell method is given as dv is equal to 2 pi x y dx so 2 pi x here is the circumference and y dx here is the area of the vertical strip and same as true with this that is dv is equal to 2 pi y x dy dy 2 pi y here is the circumference and x dy here is the area of the horizontal strip. So area times the circumference that will give us the volume. So that is in cubic units. So let us take note for cylindrical shell. The axis of rotation determines the strip to use. That is the strip is parallel to axis of rotation and rev or the revolution. So let us take note that in using the circular disc, we are um, determining the strip to use that is perpendicular, whereas here in cylindrical shell, that is parallel, not perpendicular. So if we're going to get an example, that is number one, find the volume generated by revolving about the y-axis at the origin, the area in the first quadrant bounded by the curve y is equal to 4 minus x squared and the axis that is axis so axis here it includes the y axis and the x axis so y minus 4 minus y is equal to 4 minus x squared here is a parabola so let us get first the standard form for this to be able to get the vertex and the opening of the parabola, so that is y is equal to 4 minus x squared, transposing x squared. That will give us x squared is equal to 4 minus y. So let us bring out negative y. So that is x squared is equal to negative times, that is y minus 4. Since that is negative y, that is negative y, negative times negative 4, that is positive 4. So it satisfies the equation. So the, the vertex for that is 0 and positive 4. So if your y is equal to 0, what is your x? So if we are going to substitute the value of 0 to the equation, we are going to get the inter intersections. So that is 0 is equal to 4 minus x squared. Transposing that, it will become is equal to 4. So to be able to get x, let us get the square root for both of that. That will give us x is equal to the square root of 4 is that is 2. So since that is a square root, it will give us two roots. So that is negative and positive. So our intersections would be that is negative 2 and 0. Then the other one that is positive 2 and 0. Continuing that, the vertex is 0, 4, and the intersections are from negative 2, 0, and 2, 0. So our requirement would be the volume about the y-axis at the first quadrant bounded by the curve and the axis. So if we're going to graph that, so if this is 4, that will be the vertex, 0, 4, and the intersections would be negative 2 and positive 2 so the parabola opens downward since that is negative yes so that is like that 
So we are asked to rotate that here at the y-axis. So that is here is the first quadrant, here is the second, third, and fourth. So we are asked to get the volume generated by this area. So we are going to use what vertical strip since that is parallel to the axis of rotation that is the y axis so this is dx and this is y so our formula would be dv is equal to 2 pi x y dx so that is equal to 2 pi x that is y upper minus y lower that is times dx. Okay, so that is 2 pi x. What is your y upper? That intersects the parabola. So the parabola is y is equal to 4 minus x squared. So let's get that, the value of y. That is 4 minus x squared. And since the y lower there touches the x-axis, which is y is equal to 0, that is um, negligible. So, let us multiply that by dx. So, that is dv. So, in getting the integral for that, let's get the limits. So, since that is dx, that is dx, the limits are from 0 to 2. That is from the first quadrant. Okay, so if we're going to continue that, <clears throat> that will give us... Getting the integral, let us bring out 2 pi since that is constant. That is 2 pi. That is 0 to 2. Let us first simplify that. That is 4 times x. That is 4x. Minus x squared times x. That is x raised to 3. So that is dx. Okay, so we're going to get the integral for that. That is 2 pi times 4x dx that is 4x squared over 2 minus x raised to 4 over 4 that is from 0 to 2 so simplifying further that will give us 2 pi times 4 divided by 2 that is 2x squared minus x raised to 4 over 4 that is from 0 to 2 so simplifying that, that will give us 2 pi times upper minus lower. Let us substitute the value of x, which is 2. That is 2 times 2 raised to 2 minus 2 raised to 4 over 4 minus lower, which is 0. That is 2 pi. That is, if we're going to substitute the value of 0 there, it will give us the value of 0. So simplifying, that is 2 pi. That is 2, 2 raised to 2, that is 4, minus 2, 2 raised to 4, that is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16, over 4, minus 0, that is equal to 2 pi, 4 times 2, that is 8, minus 16 over 4. Okay, simplifying that, it will give us 2 pi times... That is 4. So, 8 times 4, that is 32 minus 16. So, the volume, it will give us 2 pi times 32 minus 16. That is 16 over 4. That is 2 pi. So, 16 divided by 4, that is 4. So, that is 4 times 2, that is 8 pi. So, that is our volume. That is 8 pi cubic units. Since the integral for dv, that is already v.